we will be suspending all flights from six Southern African countries. 新闻王变异株 Omicron 让各国纷纷在边境筑起防护网，但如此大动作不免让人质疑，是否有点反应过头。Or later, we're going to see cases of this new variant here in the United States. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. 美国总统登高一呼，要大家别慌张，也不打算禁止民众飞往非洲，因为按照病毒演化原理，病毒靠变种增强自身对环境的适应力，但威力也注定会越来越弱。不过问题就在新变种病毒还有许多不确定性，而且似乎更容易传染给年轻人。况且现有疫苗是否有效，也还是未知数。It doesn't sound like there are respiratory issues. You're talking extreme fatigue was the main symptom, and then. In younger people as well. This variant has a large number of mutations, and some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. 而且比起变种病毒的实际威胁，更让各国政府担心的其实是无法掌控的恐慌情绪。A hundred percent, yeah. Not the variant. The politicians who are scared of it, yes. Despite hearing news that South Africa can say it's quite mild and it's not really a problem, and quite understand, and a lot of people are hysterical. There's a lot of A lot of collective hysteria. I feel like at the moment. 先前市场担忧情绪升温，导致美股一度跳水，推升油价升高，多空杂音反复干扰。一旦各国境内又回到过去封城状态，好不容易即将重启的经济势必再度受创。And some experts say travel restrictions might slow down the spread, but they likely won't stop it. We can't prevent the spread of this virus across borders. Omicron 风暴来袭，虽然明知旅游禁令关闭边境，无法阻止病毒扩散，但面对突如其来的黑天鹅，全球宁愿当惊弓之鸟，也不想再陷入疫情泥淖。